hello and welcome everyone welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to see how to um, convert the ova file into the qcow2 file for the palo alto evng right uh, so i i hope you have downloaded this file from the resources section and there is a uh, i mean fold uh, and there is a link to download the qcow2 file uh, if you click on this one link uh, and then you can go and download this link now if this is slow and if this doesn't work um, what you can do is you can download this qcow um, ova file which uh, i i hope you have already downloaded you click on this and you go to the google drive and download this file once you have this file now i will show you the procedure to convert the ova file to qcow so that you can use that in the evng okay so here i have my evng running on my um, workstation and it's running on 192 168 199 which i have already logged in here right and if i right click and press on node uh, you would see that the palo alto um, image is not there right um, so if i search on palo alto you see uh, it's grayed out so we will see how to add this into the palo uh, evng right uh, first thing first you need the win scp so let's go to uh, win scp and uh, you need to log in with the ip that you have on your evng mine is 199 and uh, just change this to scp and use the root credentials which is um, root and eve by default uh, okay so you are here now what you need to do is you need to go to um, the uh, folders which is opt unit labs add-ons and then chemo so this is the folder we have where you have to be and right click and create a new directory called palo alto and now it should be small palo alto and hyphen and then anything right so this method would work on any ov of the palo alto okay and create a folder like this now let me just um show you the official uh, evng website yeah here and what happens is you need to go to uh, the documentation section and you need to go to how to and inside how to you would have the palo alto section right uh, just to show you that they are showing this on um, image 7 and 8 but i have 10 and in future you might have 11 or any other uh, OVA file so you can use this method now what we did is they are taking um, I mean here they are asking you to create a folder called ABC and go into that folder but what we did is we created a direct directly a folder called Palo Alto hyphen 10 and I'm going to use the star XF um, command to extract the files in that folder okay so I will um, putty into my ENG so i will use 192 168 1.199 okay and i will ssh open root eve so once i'm here then what i need to do is i need to um basically change my folder to the folder where i have added the files right so if i go here and check this is the folder right so i am into add-ons add-ons um sorry uh opt unit lab add-ons and chemo so i can just uh copy this or what i can do is um uh, copy this to the path and go here and say cd and like this And I'm inside chemo. And if I do an ls there, I will see two um I mean folders there. So I can go to cd palo alto this inside that. I if I do ls, there is nothing here, right? So what you need to do in first place is copy and paste this uh, uh OVA file inside the palo alto folder inside evng. So I've done a drag drop and now this will be copied inside the palo alto folder that we created inside the file system of the evng virtual machine right so you will have to wait for this to completely get copied 
into the um, file system of evng and then we will extract this using the tar xf command inside the evng cli right this one so next what you need to do is tar xf and then pa uh, now you would have a pa like this uh, okay so for now the the file has not been copied so we have to wait okay so the uh, palo alto ova file has been copied here you can see it here now what we need to do is we need to go to the cli and uh, do command tar xf and then pa and okay if i do an ls yeah i see that then let's uh, do this command tar xf copy this and tar xf PA like this so you copy this file name and do the tar xf so now uh, if you go back to win scp and go inside this and do a refresh you will see that the ova file is being extracted like this we need to wait till this is completed and what we need is this vmdk file okay so let's wait for the process to complete yeah so this is complete now once this is done you need to copy this um, whole command from here till here let's say copy this and go to the cli put it here and then you have the pa hyphen disk vmdk to virtual.qcow this one and hit enter now what this command does is it is basically converting that vmdk file into a virtual.qcow2 file if you go to the winscp back and hit a refresh you will see a new file creating this one and then again you will have to wait until the whole conversion is done so you can see uh, when you hit refresh the size of the file increases right so let's wait for this to complete and then we can come back okay now once this process is completed you can go on and delete all these files from the system that's it now you have the virtual.qcow file converted file now the last step that you need to do is you need to go on and copy this permissions command copy this and paste it in the cli here and wait for this to be completed yeah let's do it once more and then let's go and refresh this page here on my evng right click node and if i scroll down to the palo alto so you can see now the Palo Alto is highlighted and I have the image here. So I can go and add. And remember to change the nick to virtual net, net PCI and save. I'll start this node and open. Let's see. And um, uh, let's wait for this uh, to boot up. I'll just fast forward this. Uh, till then you can enjoy the music so you will have to wait for some time before the um, the firewall initializes um, uh, you need to wait for the host name to change to PA, PAVM basically. So let's wait. Okay, now let's try admin, admin, admin. Finally, I'm ch I have changed it. And if I see show um, interface, my management yeah 
so yeah this um, uh, image is working now you can just connect a management interface and then you can log into the pool um, so hope this uh, video was helpful to you um, i'll see you in the next lecture